he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew he was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious jewels. We have too many lost. The list of lost is ridiculous. And everyone knows Diddy was selected for this job. He's the Judas. I believe that the people that... Puff may feel very uncomfortable by saying that they were racist. They hired a, uh, 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 they, 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 they plug publicists and they people behind them went at Puff, went after them. And if you read Little Rod's case that he put against Diddy, they wrote that up as if it was an indictment. <laughs> they had they put times, places, people, and footage. This is where the crime was committed at. Here go the footage. You understand what I'm saying? Little Rob, his statement, his lawsuit was way more detailed in, in, in criminal activity than Cassie was. And they filed it in the civil court and sent it to the feds. So when the feds got that, they, they got to read it. They got to see what's going on. And if a crime is committed there and it's something federal, they have to react to it. Yeah. They say money can't buy everything, but what if it could buy a hit on one of your biggest enemies? Now, now, Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call no. I don't call. I don't call him gay. I said, let I me see. read it. Let me read okay, it, Fifth. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I can no longer Shout help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Then the thieves in theaters January. Oh, that's that's why he says things. He doesn't even know what he's saying. Is like fruity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he said something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. What is he talking about? Incense is going off. When Ensign's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I get uncomfortable. Like, he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, oh, that's man. a nice gesture. Let's Let me go. get out of No, dude, take me to that. Still what a guy oh, says to a nice girl. <laughs> Rumors have been swirling for years that Sean Diddy Combs, one of the most influential figures in the music industry, might have gone too far to protect his empire. Allegations of shady deals, violent orders, and now an explosive claim that he put a million-dollar price tag on Tupac Shakur's life are coming back to haunt him. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse for Diddy, it's looking like 50 Cent might be next on his list. Would say some, oh my, whoa. The crowd would be like, well, did he just say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games. Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. But, um, yeah. Did the you compilation? Go? Nah, I was I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play. Play. Hey, yo, play. listen. Yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah. I like when you oh, when you right scrambling right and scraping. For no. That was you scrambling. <laughs> 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 what you said? I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I you was don't go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh. 
I mean, it's, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like. I'm sure know, we can I'm, put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's. Oh, we have a bunch. We put yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm, I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard the whispers, the rumors about Diddy's involvement in the infamous East Coast West Coast beef, about shady connections and suspicious deaths. But what if it's all true? What if Diddy really is the puppet master pulling the strings behind some of hip hop's darkest moments? And now, with the FBI and feds involved, it seems the cracks in Diddy's carefully built facade are finally starting to show. Could Diddy have really tried to take 50 out? Is this just a bad boy gone worse, or is it all part of an elaborate cover-up? The empire that was Sean Diddy Combs was once valued at a billion dollars. After facing a tsunami of sexual misconduct lawsuits beginning in November 2023, many companies that once thrived by having a name like Diddy attached to them began distancing themselves from the bad boy records founder. The empire that was Sean Diddy Combs was once valued at a billion dollars after facing a tsunami of sexual misconduct lawsuits beginning in November of 2023. Many companies who have once thrived by having a name like Diddy attached to them began distancing themselves from the Bad Boy Records founder. And while Diddy, through his attorney, has maintained his innocence in the wake of his ex trafficking arrest, it's clear Diddy's wealth and power has diminished from what it once was. Diddy, who hailed from Harlem, New York, was once a beloved figure in New York City. Just a year prior to his arrest in September of 2023, Diddy was awarded a key to New York City by New York City Mayor Eric Adams, who is facing his own controversies. But in the aftermath of the surveillance video being released showing Diddy brutally assaulting Cassie when she was trying to escape her hotel room with him was made public, the backlash was swift, prompting Mayor Adams to request the key back. In a statement, Adams said he was deeply disturbed by the assault video. He wrote, I strongly condemn these actions and stand in solidarity with all survivors of domestic and gender-based violence. Our city has worked tirelessly to make sure survivors are heard and seen by our administration. Of course, Diddy has always denied these claims. His legal team has been quick to dismiss the accusations as baseless, without merit, and outright fabrications. But let's be real, this isn't the first time we've heard whispers about Diddy being involved in some dirty dealings. The 2009 interview where Keith D reportedly implicated him is just one of many incidents where Diddy's name has been dragged through the mud. Well, in fact, you know, there was the, the rumor that after Pac got killed, uh, Puffy gave Zip a million dollars that was supposed to be handed over and Zip ended up keeping it. And I remember when I interviewed TK Kirkland, who was actually roommates with Zip at one point, they were that close. He actually said, yeah. The fed said, said that too. He said that, that shit actually happened. Well, the story that has circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money. I heard. To, to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to, to Keefe in there. Yes. But he never gave the money to But him. thank God he never gave him the money, right? Think about it. If he gave the money, Puffy will be in prison now, money for hire, a murder for hire. So thank God. It's it, just a true story. I, I'm not saying yes or no, but if he would have gave him them the money, it would have been a murder for hire and Puffy would be locked up. Yeah, and, and he, said and he basically, said he's a dirty motherfucker. Yeah, he, he even that. said that like in retrospect, that was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to Puffy by Zip stealing the money. Now Puffy isn't connected to that shit, or else it would have been like a murder for hire or something. You know what I'm saying? I, the FBI said it was just Zip. So the, the FBI money. told you said the same he was thing. a dirty motherfucker. Yeah. So the FBI told you the Zip kept that money as well. They said Zip's a dirty motherfucker. Everybody cross you. You the last one to know every fucking thing. Even lawyers, your friends, everybody can cross your ass. You just don't know. 
even the dudes you was riding in the car with every day, like a low jack. Like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, like I said, Zip, Zip had a history of ripping people off. Yeah. It doesn't stop there. Keith D mentioned that Diddy was fuming about the whole East Coast West Coast rivalry, particularly with Death Row Records and Suge Knight. Diddy allegedly said, I would give anything for that dude's head. Who's that dude? Suge Knight, the man at the center of the West Coast rap scene, and a key figure in the chaos that eventually claimed Tupac's life. Did Diddy's anger spill over into something far more sinister? Allegedly, even more wild is how it ties into the current drama between Diddy and 50 Cent. Think about it, if Diddy could do something like that back in the 90s, who's to say he wouldn't try to take out someone like 50 Cent, who's been publicly dragging his name through the mud? 50 Cent has made it his mission to expose Diddy, accusing him of all sorts of nefarious activities from spiking drinks at parties to his involvement in some seriously dark stuff. And now, 50 Cent is working on a Netflix docuseries that promises to lay everything bare. In the book, he said, uh, the third day after getting back from Vegas, you guys met up with Zip in yeah. L.A. At Wingstop. At Wingstop. Yeah. Not exactly. Wingstop, but uh, Hot Wings. LA Hot, Hot Wings. Wings. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you said that Puffy, Puffy called and said, was that us? And you yeah. didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Yeah, you're right. There's also, you go into the book, that apparently there was supposed to be a million dollars that Zip was supposed to bring back, but he ended up keeping the money and buying a nightclub with it. That's what the FBI said. The FBI said that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys never got any money. Never. For anything. Nothing. Not even a pair of Sean John draws. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It seemed like Puff do that though. He uh seemed like every time some some bad shit go around here, he he he, he, he look like it's some shit grass. You don't step around that shit. You get away from that bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Well, you talked about how you made a, a crucial mistake by having a big meeting in the neighborhood. Yeah, it wasn't in the neighborhood. We, it was at a park outside of the neighborhood. Okay, in, in Cerritos. Yeah. Okay. And what was the what was the mistake that you made? I said I was just going to get some bread from Puff to get us some guns because they kept on raiding our houses, taking our guns. And there was informants that was listening to this whole conversation. Yeah, they was there. Yeah. Exactly. And they reported that that back. Yeah. In one corner, the disgraced hip-hop impresario under federal indictment for a laundry list of shocking crimes. In the other, his nemesis, ready to cash in on Sean Combs' misfortune. Hey, Diddy, man, you think Michael Jackson... Puffy's latest legal battle has reignited one of rap's biggest feuds. Wanna be ballers, shot callers, brawlers. Between Diddy and Fiddy. Many, many men. Many, 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 many men. After months of teasing, he would be unleashing a Diddy Do It documentary. It's now official. The big headline, Netflix, is producing a docuseries from Curtis 50 Cent Jackson about the federal charges of sex trafficking and assault and the allegations against Diddy Combs. Ripping up! 50 tweeted the announcement, I've been telling y'all about this weird expletive. You didn't believe me, but I bet you believe me. But here's the thing, 50 Cent is more than just a rapper. He's a mastermind when it comes to turning controversy into content. The docuseries isn't just about Diddy's alleged sex trafficking and abuse scandals, it's about decades of whispers, secrets, and lies finally seeing the light of day. And this? This might just be the cherry on top. So, you have something huge coming up, which is a documentary about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. Yeah, yeah. Diddy do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, I, I know, he did you've, you've been heavy on social no, media talking about he it. He did it. And I'm the only one who's been vocal about this long before it actually... Oh, you've been saying this for, for a long time now. And then no one was, you know, they're just, why is he saying this? And now it's coming out like crazy. I mean, but I also now. didn't participate. I also didn't go to those parts. Yeah. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated. So could Diddy have tried to take 50 Cent out for exposing him? I mean, we've all seen how ruthless the music industry can be, especially when massive egos and even bigger bank accounts are involved. If 50's documentary truly sheds light on some of Diddy's darkest secret secrets that could end careers or, worse, send someone to jail, what's stopping Diddy from doing whatever it takes to silence him? I'm just not with all that freaky 
Like yeah. all of the stuff that he's doing, I'm not into that type of stuff. I'm just a little more, maybe you could say basic or normal. You go to the 90s, the Kiki D said he paid, he paid him to kick Tupac. Yeah. So look, like with the craziest accusations, you had TMZ created a docu-series, they went to Tubi, but the, the series is saying the downfall of Diddy. You're one of the first persons in entertainment to really call out people and kind of have that authority in that to be able to call people out. I mean, which is it's pretty amazing. You're kind of, in some ways, draining, draining the swamp of, of Hollywood. And, yeah, I don't have a support yeah, system. I don't have a support system of a uh, peer group of artists that I require to do what I'm doing. I've had to be on my own from the beginning. So I, I don't necessarily uh, have a responsibility to behave a certain way, according to them. You know, and I, look, if, you, if, if I didn't have an award-winning director doing it, if I hadn't put the right people in place to produce it properly, I wouldn't understand why they would question or doubt anything. I try not to Do you go it. into every battle knowing that you like there's no fear? Well, yeah. Now, you gotta look. Fear's optional. It's always, but danger's real. Mm. You know, so you gotta look, you gotta know who you're talking to. You but know. you talk to everybody. And I don't think that you go and say, Oh, I'm not saying nothing about this person because this person yeah. is a beast. You know what happened? What I was doing was I I don't like to start. The thing, I can always you tell said you, this before, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can always show so you. So everyone where, pick on you. They did. Right. Oh, they did something to agitate. <laughs> right. Like, like you look. What did Madonna do? But as Fifty Cent's documentary gets closer to airing, we might finally get some answers. One thing is for certain in the world of hip hop, the truth is often stranger than fiction. Stay tuned because this story is far from over.